everyone, this is Debbie Gruber from Lots of Knot Ceramics. I come to you this morning because I want to show you this beautiful tree truck. And what I've done is made this a kit. So what you get is you get the truck and the electrical, which you know I'm going to take out now because I'm going to use this piece to show you what I'm doing. And then you get a star and you can choose whatever you like. And I just kind of mixed up the colors and put all the little bulbs in here. So you get all the bulbs, the star, the electrical, and the truck for $24.95. It's a great deal. And, you know, we do sell quite a lot of these. We do have some in stock. So if you'd like to call and order one, feel free to do so at 330-948. 8100 just ask for the tree truck kit and we could ship that to you we ship anywhere in the united states or you know you can come and pick it up if you like so i've just took the balls back out because i'm going to glaze this truck and i only want to put the glaze on the tree you know this is your truck and, and you can do whatever you like so if you wanted to glaze the whole thing you could do that but i like the way it look when it looks when i just glaze the truck and then i paint the truck red or sometimes they paint it blue there's a book with a, a blue truck in it too so sometimes they do it red sometimes they do it blue so it's up to you and of course white walls it's, it's really a, a beautiful piece so i'm going to put the glaze on and it requires three coats i like this paint it's a duncan glaze i'm a, a duncan dealer and i really like this glaze it's called bluegrass and it's in1036 and if you read the bottle and i always tell everybody please read the bottle because sometimes you don't want to mix your glaze you want to leave it the way it is and and, and we'll, sometime when we get into that kind of glaze i'll show you all about that but in this case it says mix well so you just want to shake it up really good and then, you know, I, I use the stuff in the lid too, because that way it gets, it all gets used. Um, I like to say I'm frugal, <laughs> not cheap. <laughs> and when you take your glaze, you want to make sure that you don't put any glaze in these little holes, because these holes are mathematically designed. I put them in there and it's mathematically designed to accept this little toy. So if you alter the size of the hole, then this little guy isn't gonna fit in there. And then you've got a whole new world of issues that we don't wanna do. So make sure that you don't get it in the hole. I, I always try to keep Q-tips near me. That way if I do get some in the hole, cause you know, we're only people and it happens, then you can clean that out with a Q-tip. A little film isn't gonna change the size of the hole, but a drip obviously will. So what we're gonna do is take this glaze and we're gonna start over here on this truck. And we're gonna come into where we wanna go. And then I, I start away from where I wanna go and I move my brush into where I want this to be. I know I have it tilted at a funny angle because I'm trying to show you. But I'm gonna stay away from the holes. And don't worry if you're not right on top of the hole. See how there's like a little bit, and you know, maybe I'll come in here and, and fix this so you can see. There's a little bit of a, of a spot right there where I didn't get. That's okay because we're gonna do three coats, so we'll catch it in the next round. Also, you know, don't forget there's gonna be a bulb in that hole. So even if there is a little spot there where there's no glaze, it doesn't matter because the, the little bulb is gonna cover that up and make everything okay. And then we come in here and just do the same thing all the way around the truck, always mining the hole. And I usually I use a glaze brush, but in this case, because the area that I'm working is so small, I think it's easier with a, with a small brush. And you could even get to the point where you use a smaller brush if you want to. You could use whatever you want. Just make sure that you cover the entire area with the glaze, just like I'm doing here. Perfect. And all the way around I'm gonna go always watching for the hole so I don't get any glaze in the hole. And again, you're gonna have, I have to let this dry really good between coats. So I'm you know, pretty much gonna show you for a few minutes on how to do this, and then I'll hang up and finish it off camera. I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing, adding glaze, staying away from the holes. But yeah, I can go a little faster when I'm not doing an edging, of course. Just stay out of the holes. And the, the lid is making me nuts, so I'm gonna switch over to the jar. I'm not able to get enough paint. I'm a, a heavy-handed painter, which is okay, as long as you keep things nice and neat. You know, and then I'm not pressing really hard. I'm pressing very lightly, because if you press real hard on that, you think you're doing a good job and you're putting the paint on, and you know you're, what you're really doing is pulling it away from the, if you're rubbing it really hard, I'm pulling it away from the bisque. Instead of putting it on, I'm actually taking it off. So you want to make sure you stay nice and smooth. And you can't tell that by looking at it now. But when I put it in the kiln, there's no secrets anymore. It all shows up. And I'm going to go all the way around this entire tray. You don't have to go the same direction and all that like you do on the other one because when you fire this, it all just lays flat real nice. 
And if you do it exactly like I say, yours will come out just as beautiful as mine. And I'll take you, all, of course, all the way to the end of this. And for those of you who don't have access to a ceramic store or a kiln where you can, you know, get this fired, I'll come back on, you know, a couple weeks down the road and I'll paint another one of these, but I'll paint it with regular paint so you can see how to do that too. And you can do it both ways. And they're both equally beautiful. They're just different, but they are both beautiful. And you'll see that when, um, when I get that far. I guess I'll have to call those people back. <laughs> there, and I'm gonna go all the way around. I hit right there, but that's okay. What I did is I kind of rubbed a little bit so I didn't leave it on there. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of sandpaper and just sand that off right there. Really wish I had thought to put some sandpaper over here, but I didn't. <laughs> so I'll have to get it when I'm off camera. But these little things happen like that. And if something like that happens to you, you know, stop what you're doing, pick up the phone, 330-948-8100, and ask me what to do. And I'll be happy to guide you through if you have some sort of an issue. Even if it's not something that, you know, you bought here that you're painting, if you get stuck, call me. If I can help you, I certainly will. Okay, so I think you guys get the basic idea. I'm just going to continue with this. And then as soon as I get this fired and out of the kiln, it'll be beautiful and we'll be able to continue on with our tree truck. But I do want to put three coats on because there are times when I'll, um, I will I want to know what will happen if we don't do what they say. So I do like little experiments. And let me tell you, if you only put two coats on here, when it comes out, it's not even and it looks terrible and you wind up putting another coat on it and then you can put it back in the kiln again. But that costs you an extra firing and time because you have to wait for it to come back out of the kiln a second time. So, you know, when, when I know what's gonna happen, I always let you guys know. <laughs> I do extreme uh, uh, experiments because I wanna be able to stand in front of you and say, this is what's gonna happen. And I know it's what's gonna happen because I found out myself. So don't hesitate to call me and ask me if you have any questions. Please check out my website. It's lotsofnotceramics.com or you can simply type lokceramics.com. And there's a lot of stuff out there. If you need any supplies or anything like that, you can contact us and, and we'll be happy to get whatever you need shipped out to you. So anything else, then just give us a call and I'll talk to you soon. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching our video today. Real quick before the up next video starts playing, do us a favor and smash the like and share buttons. If you want to see more of our content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on all notifications so you're notified when we post new content. If you want to start your own project or just order some supplies, check out our store at www.lokceramics.com. Hope to see you in the next video.